comes the first car with Police Chief Jess Curry, and here is the President of the United States. And the crowd is absolutely going wild. This is a friendly crowd in downtown Dallas, as the President and the First Lady pass by. By the way, uh, any fear that demonstrations may have marred the presidential motorcade here in the downtown area, at this point, however, it seems useless. The uh, crowd here it seems to radiate a love for the president. The Dallas Police Department is working with a fully augmented force to dispel any fear that unfortunate incidents similar to those uh, that accompanied U.N. Ambassador Adelaide Stevenson's visit do not occur on this trip. and a beginning, a national tragedy and a personal fulfillment. The whole spectrum of human experience. So dramatic a canvas demands the impact, emotion, and immediacy of television. And now, finally, a distinguished new series will capture the dynamic pulse of the 60s. It will bear the signature and carry the prestige of the most famous name in documentaries. March of Time, a distinguished name, a pre-sold name. In a theater, it meant quality, entertainment, an exciting perspective on the events and conflicts of an era. From history to the lively arts, the organization's versatility was vividly revealed as it filmed specials and a series capturing the excitement of motion pictures around the world. Walper was the first in television to produce quality programs about Hollywood and its producers, writers, directors, and stars. Luminaries like Natalie Wood were seen in an unusual perspective as Walper cameras went behind the scenes to make movies about people who make movies. Remarkable personal portraits of stars like Kim Novak emerged as Walper writers and producers went beyond the public image to reveal stars not as others see them, but as they see themselves. Suddenly the news. Tomorrow we go. They are raw, inexperienced. Some have never fired a real gun. But it's a thrill at last to be going over there. But it is still the epic sweep of history and the dramas of our time that are among the special provinces of the Walper organization. The Yanks are coming, nominated for an Academy Award, winner of the coveted Grand Prix at Monte Carlo. A vivid example of how Walper artistry weaves the flavor, the excitement, even the authentic music of an era. We will be a long way from home. Some of us may never return but we are pledged to fight and win the war to end all war. And we are splendid, heroic. The cheers have told us so. This is a story of power. This hushed and sunlit room, the president's office, is its inner sanctum. At the end of the ganglia of wires that run from this console quivers the power of America, from thermonuclear striking force to missiles in the deep. Whoever in lonely responsibility must press one of these buttons does so for all the American people. A landmark in television history, the making of the president. 
winner of 20 international awards and four Emmys. In the 172nd year of their republic, the American people sought to give this responsibility to a new leader in that rowdy transaction of passion, tumult, and circus called a presidential campaign. And now for the program of the year, The winner in Hollywood is the making of the president, 1960. Accepting the award for the making of the president, 1960, the producers, David L. Walker and Mel Stewart. Now the technical and creative talent of Walter Productions will go into high gear for the making of a new march of time. Revolutionary camera and sound techniques and specially designed equipment will be utilized throughout the world. The hallmark of this new series will be visual impact. For Walter cameras go every place that promises action, news, or human interest. On the shoulders of Paul Newman as he pursues his hazardous hobby, go-kart racing. In the midst of a chief executive's private conference behind closed doors. In a cage with a lion tamer as he faces wild and untamed beasts for the first time. In the cockpit of a jet-powered car blasting across the Bonneville salt flats at a record-shattering 526 miles an hour. And in the air, as a skydiver leaps from a plane without a parachute and attempts to get one from another diver as they hurtle to Earth. An incredible spectacle captured exclusively by Walper cameras. Contemporary scene, an investigation of public violence and public apathy, the increasing disrespect for authority on the part of some, and the refusal to become involved on the part of many. On the outposts of medicine, the gripping story of a completely artificial heart that is on the threshold of being perfected by the world's greatest heart surgeon, Dr. Michael DeBakey. The frantic world of the modern American teenager. A refreshing look at the war between the generations. And an inquiry into what's in store when this one inherits the earth. And on the frontiers of science, the strange world of the computers. Devised by engineers who feel that someday soon, they'll design one that actually thinks like a man. They've already made one that sings. just a glimpse of the scope, the drama, of the new March of Time. Following in the great tradition of its predecessor, it will present exciting new programs for a new era. The return of the March of Time will be an historic television event, for behind it stand two organizations of achievement and stature. Walper Productions, the leader in the documentary field, and Time Life Incorporated, the most influential name in journalism.